Hello everyone and welcome. So we are starting a new Let's Play series. We'll be on the legacy of Romulus. So I apologize, my voice sounds a little weird tonight. I got a cold and it's almost gone away, so... Here's hoping things go well and I don't start coughing too much. Actually, I'll do tactical for her. Okay, I have a particular person who this is going to be modeled after. That's about right. Let's just go through all the options. Okay. So this is the name of the Instagrammer. So I'll make sure you go follow her.
What we knew is gone. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust. Blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives within every ship we fly, upon every world we touch, in our hearts, in yours. There will be challenge. You will know fear, but you will overcome. You will survive and answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. In enemies, find allies. There is no price we have not paid, no loss we have not felt. Our dead world, our long suffering, these are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew, for your people, for this new home. We must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will, for we are Romulan. I love that I'm gonna say. January 24-9. Two weeks before the Borg attack. The youngest of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, everything changed. Twenty-two years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our homeworlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy, and the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shiar or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sila. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats, but battles light years away don't affect us much. The Tal Shi'ar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force and pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots and found friends. Today we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, true Romulans will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. So that was told on again. And he was right here. There you are. The security chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellids chewing at the vines. He's really worked up. Kellids and the vines? That doesn't sound right. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellid behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there. I'll look into it. Interactable items have a glow around them. Hello, Ashley Merlin. You have three messages from Avrak. The second and third have been flagged as redundant by the system. Play message one now. Please tell me you'll help me. Kellids are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes, and everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. There won't be any party if everyone's knee deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. Listen to a second message. When are you coming over here? This is getting ridiculous. No one appreciates me around here. No one. 
They think these crops just grow without any help from anyone. Tending these vines is a lot of work. No one says thank you. No one pats me in the back. They just keep asking for more. Jack, look, just get over here and take care of the kelets, all right? And maybe say thank you for all the work I do to keep these vineyards in shape. Listen to the third message. It's me again. Ignore the other message I sent. I lost my temper. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you're not here yet. I really could use your help, though. These kelads are chewing through everything, and they won't stop. And no one here is even trying to help. Oh. They just keep bouncing me to other people. First to Tovan, then to Navala, then to you. What's that? Should I ask one of the kids? Just please come here soon. Thanks. All right, we're going to tell Tovan we're going to help Avrak. If the Kelids are chewing up the vineyard, we should probably grab a pistol, just in case. I'd join you, but the Chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch up later. I'll see you later. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear... Finally, I mean, uh, which message? Ah, oh, never mind that either. It's chaos here. I need some help. Normally, we collect nectar from the local Kelid insects. Something has driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system and flooding the vineyard. I'll start repairing the pipes. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the broken pipes are obvious. They're, they're the ones spraying water everywhere. Kelid shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of them. I'll handle it. Yeah, hey there, Q. I just get tired of rolling the warships, always being up tiered. Oh, it's going good there, Q. I just got a bit of a cold. I wanted to do this earlier in the week, but I was down and out. Star Citizen, never heard of it. Well, the flooding has stopped, but if those Kellids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. Something's making the insects go crazy. With bugs this size, that's a real problem. And Avala might be able to help, but she's not goofing off again. She knows all about Kellids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. I'll find out what Navala knows. Yeah, good idea. Talk to Navala. 
I bet she's just lounging around right now, not even thinking about all the damage being done to my vineyard. No one around here wants to put in a good day's work. Well, except for you. All right, I'll get, I'll get going. Largest crowdfunded game in history. It's beautiful, really pre-alpha stage. Nice. Okay, Q, I'll check out the Discord later on. I haven't been on that either. Just in time. Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm what? Lazy? That I've been... Ugh! He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Oh, that's so old-fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. The Kellids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. This aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out what's causing it. That means gathering samples from some of these creatures. I'll see what I can find. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F. Enemies have a chance to drop items. This metal has some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. Oh, this is so strange. Something might be happening in the cavern, I'll check it out. You're right. The source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful. I'll be careful. What the hell is that? A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. 
I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. And I will. What do you need with an old space hound like me? I need to show you some strange samples. Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. Yes, I These am, look very similar. May I use your equipment to break down these biological samples? Good idea. When we ran into something like this before, we were able to stop the spores from reproducing by bombarding them with tachyons. We have the equipment here to replicate that procedure. Thanks, I'll let you know what I find. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on your career track. Engineering. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them, and it could happen again. You think it was related to this beacon? That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. What do we do now? Tell the Maori what we found? That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. That's fine, but we have a bigger problem. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. It was my honor. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device, and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If what Devex says is true, we don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled, why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival! We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. I'll do that. Thank you, Maori. Back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. I'll meet you there. Hey there. Long day? I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the tall Shi'ar. 
Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The Kellet Nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled, and we have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. get the shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Vorian to help organize the militia. Get as many civilians to safety as you can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home. Understood. Attention all guards. Make it, just get the shuttle ready. It's the Tall Shiar. We need to call for help. I don't know who will answer, but we have to do something. I tried to send a distress signal, but we damaged our transceiver array. We still have a chance, though. We need to deal with some of the Tall Shiar, but then get a replacement battery. I'm on it.
repair the device and send the signal. Citizen. Vex showed me how to fly his warbird. We're almost there. A terrorist class warbird. Navigation is online, but we need some components. I'll scan the old ships around here for what we need. Your speed using E. This'll do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. Weapons are online. Let's test them out on some of these derelict ships nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. Will do. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your torpedo to attack enemies who are not shielded. Okay, now everything's set the way I like it. Scrap Neutronium. Three more of these should get this hull good to go. Good shot. The 
Rex would be happy to see this old warbird get some use. I think it's simply time to take out the tall Shiar satellites dead ahead. Use your plasma. Put the item dropped by the ship by flying toward it and press. Go and full impulse is back online. I'm picking up a distress signal nearby. It must be people from the colony. More colonists managed to escape the surface. Let's go save the colonists. The distress signal is close. Searching. There! We have to help them! Turn off full impulse. There's a tall Shi'ar drone dead ahead. Hover your mouth. I'm back on the bridge. I figured out how I can improve our torpedoes. Just give me the order, and I'll get started. Scanners are picking up more colonists and tall Shi'ar nearby. We have to rescue our friends. Good to have you on the bridge, Kev. Activate high yield torpedo by clicking on the icon or high yield torpedo will increase the power attack. Take the elements. We thought we were done for. I think it's safe to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting an alert. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. We can do a short-range warp jump to get to them. Do you want to go now, or stay here to wipe out any other incoming drones? They look like they'll be coming in to do sweeps in the area. Warp us to the next area. aren't any colonists here. Just this strange ship. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gigantic. Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should we do? We'll scan them. We need to know who or what they are. They've done something to the ship. Nothing is responding. I can't even warp us out of here. 
I think I might be able to get a comm channel up to hail them. What do you want me to do? Open a channel and ask him what they want with our ship. We're getting a reply. What the? They seem to be rearranging our words and sending them back. Listen. Tovin? I'm picking up another ship. This one is Tall Shiar. It's decloaking. Get ready for a fight. So the Alachi were right. A handful of pitiful Romulan refugees managed to escape. When will you colonists learn that no matter how far you run, you cannot escape your obligations? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Hakiv of the Tall Shiar. On behalf of the Romulan Star Empire, I hereby lay claim to this colony and all of its inhabitants. Surrender now, and I will ensure that you serve us in the way you are most suited. Never. We will fight you with our last breath. Fire weapons at will! This is Tamara of the Romulan Republic. Tell Shiar Vessel to stand down immediately! protection, Hakeev. I am Tamer, commander of the Romulan Republic. We picked up your distress signal while on a mission in a nearby system. I would say we arrived just in time, given your ship's condition. Who are you? And what happened here? Explain what happened at the colony. I am truly sorry. This is not the first time I've heard a story like this. And I fear it will not be the last. And these Halachi creatures, they are troubling. We need to know more about them, and why they're working with a snake like Hakiv. As I said, I'm with the Romulan Republic. You may have heard of us. We are not the terrorists the Tal Shiar make us out to be. With our leader Datang, we are working to gather survivors of the destruction and fight the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. We have a flotilla nearby. If you're interested, we would welcome you and your friends to join us there. I will help you. I appreciate your willingness to do what's right. I'm transmitting the coordinates of our flotilla to your ship now. When you arrive, we can repair your vessel and work out our next move. Thank you again. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. It is my honor to assist you in your fight. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess signing with Tamer is better than risking death on our own. And he did help us out with the Tal Shiar. The coordinates are loaded up whenever you're ready to go. I think the colonists we rescued are eager to get someplace safe. Agreed. Assistant to Commander Tamer, please, follow me to the Commander's Quarters. There is much to discuss. Commander, our guests have arrived. Excellent. I'll get them up to speed. There's much to do. I'll be glad to show one of you around, while the other stays and talks with Tamer. I'll take the tour, and then meet you back on the ship when you're ready.
We're counting on you. I am here to join the fleet. Ashley Merwin, it is good to see you and Tovan Cab made it to Vlatilla, the new Romulan Republic. To be brief, we are a group that is funded by Titan to combat the tyranny of Empress Sela and her Tal Shiar. Our goal is to unify the shattered Romulan people under a new democracy instead of Sela's tyrannical rule. There is much to do, however, I can answer any questions you may have. I am fine. What's next? What's next is that you receive our uniform and a tour of the flotilla. After that, you'll receive your first assignment. However, you must understand by joining us, you mark yourself as an enemy to the Tal Shiar. Akiv and his people will see you as a threat. There isn't anything they won't do to stop you. Are you ready to accept that, Ashley Merwin? I'm in. Good, you should get yourself down to Lieutenant Del Delitham. You can get a uniform from him if you want to change out of those civilian clothes. You also have your ship modified. We can't get you a more powerful vessel yet, but we can change the appearance of the RRW Cranevis if you want. When you're done, return to your ship. I should have your first assignment ready and sent to your ship by then. Okay. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Pleasure to meet you, Ashley Merwin. Everyone here has heard about the RRW Carnivus and what happened at your colony. I am sorry you had to go through that, but that's what we're trying to stop. Someday settlements like Virinet will be safe. I am a tailor, which means I can alter your appearance and outfit, or those of your bridge officers. You can find other tailors in social areas. You have been authorized to receive this service. You can put on a new uniform now if you want. Ready to try a new look? Sure, I'll give it a try. Wasn't really happy with that anyways. Lieutenant Nathan. Or Nellis. Welcome to the hotel, Lieutenant. I'm a ship tailor. I can help you change the interior and exterior of your appearance of your ship. 
There are other ship trailers in the essential areas who can do the same for you at any time in the future. While the Republic doesn't have a better ship for you yet, I can help you change the look. Better paint might give the old warbird a whole new look. Sure, I'll give it a try. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, I can speak with the man himself to Tom. Remember, your objective located. Hello again. Now that you're settling in. I wanted to speak with you about what our overall goals will be. First and foremost, we are looking for a new planet to call home. Tamer and his crew are handling that search. While the search continues, I am working on any possible alliances that we can make with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We will need allies if we are to proceed. Your task will be the protection and recovery of other Romulans spread throughout this sector. Are there many other colonies? We are finding more by the day. Some have already joined us, but others do not believe in our cause. It will be up to you and your crew to protect these colonies from the Tal Shiar and to recruit anyone willing to assist us. Do you have any questions? If not, I would suggest you return to your ship. Tamer will have his orders ready for you. I'll return to my ship. Sounds like we've got our orders. If you're ready, I can beam you back to the ship. However, before that, I need to ask a favor. I have a sister. Her name is Rena Kev. She and I were separated a long time ago. I want to try to find her. As we're doing our missions, could you try to ask about Rena? Thanks. I'll do what I can. Be me back to the ship. I have new orders for you. Congratulations, Lieutenant. First skill point. Click here to learn more. Skills will increase your effectiveness. Okay, that is all for now. I'll see everyone in a couple of days.